Hey guys, I'm looking the wrong way. You're over there. Hi. Um, I know I said I was only going to do one uh, video today, but I thought I might as well show this off. Room reveal. It. This video actually isn't just being made just for this. I thought I might as well show off this kind of thing. I need to exit out of that, actually. There we go. That might look a bit more familiar. Um, I do want to keep you guys posted on everything that's been going on recently. For the past few uh, live videos, I've been doing I like talking about IRL stuff, not discussion and rants, not about me, just about what's going on in real life for me. I mean, yes, me. I guess that can technically can be considered about me, but that's not what I mean. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and set this down so I can actually be kind of free-handed on this. So, to keep anybody who missed the previous couple videos on this, um, just to keep you guys posted. The first video that I put up when all this started was I was distraught because my um, now ex broke up with me. Or I think she might be my ex. That's the thing. That's where this video comes in. I was told to block this person, Silver. But... The kind of person I am, I couldn't. Es especially since this person had been my friend for... My best friend. And it went both ways for nine years. I did not have it in me to do that to her. I should... I, I know a lot of people are telling me I should have. But... And no one, no one would understand this. I know this because people have told me this. They don't understand. Which is fine. But I didn't block her, and I started to find out more of what was going on. So, for those of you who didn't see it, on the 5th, I put up a video that was basically dedicated to someone very close and very dear to Silver. And... I was being very respectful towards that, but around that time, Silver has always had a hard time seeing any kind of positives at all, or even being positive, and she's a very optimistic person. So, I, I started to consider that maybe that was part of the reason why she acted the way she did. Part. Because it couldn't have been the whole thing, but the other part, I kind of deserved anyway. The first half of what happened, which I'm not going to get into, I believe I have already talked about it anyway. The first half of what happened, I deserved because of past events that I'm not going to talk about. The other half was more out of what I just brought up earlier. However, what was meant to happen, according to Silver, was that she just wanted to take a step back and take baby steps within the relationship that she and I had. I guess technically that puts us under the category of it's complicated, but at the same time, what confuses me is she's always constantly calling me babe as if nothing happened at all. But she does address things as if they did. So I am a little bit confused on this front. This has never happened to me in my life before. I have had only four relationships, granted. But these relationships either ended in hell or they ended in calling, hey, let's just do this kind of things. But this is, even with all that said... This is still the first relationship I've been in where this kind of conflicting, questionable, to a degree, situation has even happened and I'm not sure how to approach it. Now, 
know, I'm, I, I, I don't want to delve too deep into the thoughts on this, because when I do that, and I have seen it, I have had it happen already, I get negative. I get doubtful. And I'm trying, I'll say this much, what was talked about between Silver and I concluded in we both need to learn to trust each other. Not just one going one way, it goes both ways. There are certain circumstances that happen between the two of us under a long distance of time that shows that yes, we do need to learn to trust each other more. Yes, I was her boyfriend and she was my girlfriend, but there were events that happened that caused an alteration in trust. And part of it obviously is my fault, I'm more than willing to admit that, but part of it was also her. The part that was her was actually the breakup, but the part that was me... The part that was me was the reason that I said I deserved the first half of what she did. Anyway, um, before I ramble on too long, I am going to stop talking about that here. I'll keep you guys posted on what's going on. I don't know if things are going to get better or worse at this point. As far as my mental state goes, I wouldn't worry too much about it. I, I'm i at a better point now than I was when all this started. I'll say that much. And if something happens, I, I'm going to struggle a lot. Because this... Silver is someone who means the world to me. Like, in the sense where if I lost her, I wouldn't know what to do. But if that does happen, I know I have people that I can turn to. So I'll, I'll try not to worry about it too much. I honestly do hope it doesn't happen, though. <laughs> and I've said this to Silver as well. Anyway, I'm going to I'm going to keep rambling if I don't stop this here. Thanks for watching, guys. Um once again, I'll keep you guys posted on whatever's going on and I'll make sure to get you guys caught up on more uh video game related content and or comedic your choice. They're both all in one for me. But I'll try to get you guys caught up on Let's Play content and um, discussion rant or about me or these kind of content within hopefully a short period of time. Thanks again for watching guys and I hope to see you guys later. Bye for now.